Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard, and today, yeah, let's just reach over here. I have these feathers. Let's just select this one here. These are the goose feathers that I found, and I am going to turn this goose feather this piece of sinew which is about arm arm length if I stretch my arms completely out and this piece of leather here this suede leather I am going to turn this into a smudging feather uh, it's going to be a gift for a uh, Nordic uh, pagan group that I've just recently got involved with and uh, they were needing a smudging feather and I loaned them one of my feathers which is actually this hawk feather right here I loaned them this one for their smudging ritual the last time and uh, uh, I'm not letting them have this one <laughs> But I told them I would make one for them. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and do that with this goose feather, this sinew, and this leather. So basically I took a ruler, just a regular, regular old ruler, and I marked on this leather somewhere, some, somewhere, somewhere, there it is, the ruler. So I'm going to cut that out. And when I do that, I'll get right back with you. And there we are. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our feather and we're going to take our leather or suede leather and it's just going to sit just like this and I'm going to wrap it I want to go a little higher right there I'm just going to wrap it just like that and then I'm going to use the cordage and we are going to even it up so we go fold it in half and then the half mark I'm gonna sit up here at the very very top and I'm gonna wrap it one two three times this side and one two three times this side and then I'm going to tie it with a very simple knot we're going to put one more knot in there just to be on the safe side there we go just like this now all we're going to do is crisscross so let me reposition this camera so that you can see a little bit better so now what we're going to do is make sure this leather stays decent, decently tight. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crisscross them like such. Put a knot in it. And it's 
get that one more. There we go. All right. So this is going to go under and over. And this one will go under and over. And right here at the meeting spot, put a simple knot. And I'm going to tie it down just like this. And we're going to turn it over and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go over top. Get that out of the way. And this one goes over this top here. And we're going to tie it. Oh, the camera's going to fall. There we go. Just tie it in a knot. And try to keep it pretty well distant. Distanced equally. And keep the leather even and straight. Just like that. And again, gonna turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. It's gonna meet in the middle. Put a knot. So let's make sure we keep it tight. And keep it adjusted to where we want. And keep the knot in the middle. And tie. A nice tight knot. And we'll just continue that through the whole thing. Hold on. There we go. Make sure it stays where it, there it is. And then tie that nicely. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to continue to do this. And I'll probably have to make another three or four knots. And once I do that, I'll get back with you. Okay, so now that I've got it at the end, the very end, I'm just going to do like I did at the top. I'm going to do three wraps with one side. And then three wraps with the other. And then I'm just going to tie it a simple knot. like such now all I need to do is now I'm going to do one more one more knot just to be on the safe side and for it to be three I'm going to cut it just like such and then I will eventually melt these by burning don't think I have a yeah I don't have a lighter handy but anyway now 
this end down here that's dangling, I am just going to cut so that it will make fringe. So, well, first of all, there's a little piece that's got a little like, tape mark or something on it. Let's just get rid of that. So now all I'm going to do is just cut up this piece of leather. form some fringe Now the people that I'm making this for, uh, although they're generally Nordic, they also have they also have Native Americans uh, in their group as well. And I tried to look up to see uh, what a Nordic feather smudger would be like, but I couldn't find any. So maybe they didn't use them. I don't know but then there's right here is the uh, the fringe so we have the feather and it's attached with the leather and then we have the fringe down here now if I can find some kind of Nordic symbolism uh, for a charm or something like that that I can do in the next day or two uh, I will put that on there uh, maybe a bead or two down here. I might add a bead or two. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, if I could carve Thor's hammer real quick in a piece of wood, I might attach that, but that's not going to happen by tomorrow. So, for the most part, here is the feather smudger that I am going to gift to the the Nordic group who allowed me to show up to their summer ceremony and uh, I want to thank them very much for allowing me to show up and be a part of that I really enjoyed it and thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors even if it's just your own backyard